Hi and welcome to WBH videos. My name is Skip and this is going to be a short video on how to download and install Blender and the two add-ons that we are going to need to work on X-Plane objects and that would be X-Plane to Blender and X-Plane to Blender Importer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a search first of all for Blender. And right here we got Blender.org. It says download Blender. Download Blender 2.93. Wait for a second or two. And then we save the file. The next thing we need to search for is X-Plane to Blender. We click on that. And we can get that from GitHub. Let's open that. And when we go over here to code, it's going to say download zip. We're going to click on that. And we're going to click on that. And now we've downloaded two of the items. Now we need one more. And now we need the X-Plane to Blender Importer. So we're going to search for that, and it's right up here. Importer, we're going to click on that. We're going to open it up in a new tab. I don't know why I did that, but let's go there. We click on Code, Download to Zip, and Explain Blender Importer Master. We're going to download that. And that's all we need to do for downloading. Now I want to show you how to install this stuff. So now let's go to the download folder and we have Blender 2.93.6 for Windows installer. We're going to double click on that and we're going to install. We click next. We agree and we go next. And you can put it in a different location, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to put this on my C drive. I have a Blender test folder, so I'm going to put it there and say OK. And now we go Next and Install. And Finish. So now we need to extract these zip files into our Blender program. So we are going to go to C and Blender test. And we want the current version here. That's what we have, 2.93. We go to script, add-ons, and we are going to select that folder. And then we're going to extract. So now we go into Blender to edit, preferences, and we're going to install that program. So we need to, again, navigate to our Blender file. And we're going to go to 9. And we're going to go to Script. And we're going to go to Add-ons. And we're going to find that X-Plane to Blender Importer. And we're going to select Install Add-on. And there it is. And let's install it. Okay, so now we see here it says import, export, importer, explain object. We need to select that. And then we come down here and go save preferences. Now it's set on auto save. It normally saves that anyway, but that's all right. So we can close that. Now we come over here to file import and you can see right here it says x-plane 11 objects so this is now we can import objects to x-plane so now when we do it again for export we don't have x-plane here so now we have to do the same thing for the exporter so let's go back again we are going to right click extract all and we're going to browse to our Blender test. 
the version, script, add-ons, and we're going to select the folder. Then we will extract. This one's a little bit bigger. But we install X-Plane to Blender a little differently. So let's take a look. We're going to go to C, Blender Test, 2.9, Script, Add-ons, and we're going to find that X-Plane folder. Here we are, Master. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to grab this folder here, IO underscore X-Plane to Blender. And we're just going to cut that and go back to our add-ons folder and we're going to paste it here. We're going to paste it. Now we need to restart Blender. Wrong window. And we're going to go File, Export. Ah, it's not there. What a surprise. We're going to go to Edit, Preferences. And now what we're going to do is type in just X1 there. And it says import, export, x-plane object. We need to enable that. And just to be sure, let's save preferences and close out. And now when we come down here, we go file, export, and we have x-plane object export. And just to confirm, we have the x-plane import. Where did you go? All right, let's go back to Preferences and Import, Export, Explain Object. Well, it's unselected again, so I'm going to reselect it and go Save. And I think that might be because I installed these in the wrong order and the importer needs the Explain to Blender first, I'm guessing. so. Again, we're going to save the preferences. We're going to close that. And now let's take another look. We're going to go to Import. Good. We have Import X-Plane Object and Export X-Plane Object. I think we're good to go. So that's all there is to it for getting Blender ready to work on X-Plane Objects. Now, sometimes you run into a little trouble installing these add-ons. And so you want to go to your preferences and double check to make sure they're there. So just type X hyphen there and that's going to show you that they're here. Uh, maybe they weren't imported or they were disabled for some reason. But you should be okay. I certainly hope so. So that's it for this video. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you're going to download these programs, get it going, and start working on your airplanes. I got some fun things I think we're going to do here, so I hope you'll follow along with me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please click the like button. And please send me your comments. Thank you so much again, and God bless.